Um, I'm, as promised, I'm going to show you shoes and this is going to be only five different pairs of shoes and um, it's pretty doable so I don't think I'll talk too long about it which I feel like, I don't know, I just love talking to you guys about things that I love and that I'm like really passionate about so sorry if I try to trail off but I just, I feel like I should share that with you if it's something that you love doing then, you know, why not. So. Um, these are all from, as you guessed, DSW, and I've been kind of not eyeing these for a while, but just, they're just like that wow moment when you see something that you really want, then, you know, you gotta have it, and it's like, you know that it's completely different from what you own, and, um, yeah, so anyways, I was staring at these for the longest time in my store. And I never got it. I don't know. I just thought that you know I had something like it, or it just wasn't that amazing. But after looking for the style for a long time, I just decided that this these Tahari sandals were just t to die for, and they're a really good staple work piece. Um, if you want to wear them for just daytime appropriate, it's also appropriate for office. I wouldn't say every day because it's not. It's not um, black or brown, but maybe like Thursday, Friday towards the end of the week is to be more allowable. But I really, really, truly got this for the, what's it called? I don't want to say snake print, but it's kind of snaky, like um, almost scallopy. But this white uh, against the brown looks so amazing. And if you had a tan, that would be really great too. And it just, it really, it's really different because I didn't know this at first, but when you look at it from the front angle, it only has one strap, but if you go on the side right here, like where the belt, where the belts um, buckle, there's two straps. So it's like really different and tiny um, shoes, but you know, who doesn't? And um, the bottom feels really nice and sturdy too. I don't know if it's made out of like wood or some type of soft plywood, but. Anyways, it just feels really sturdy, and um, I just can't wait to wear these. Actually, this was going to be with the outfit that I showed you with my um, Steve Madden black belt, so um, my black tribal belt, so that's what I was going to pair it with, so I can't wait to show you shoes of all time, which is a lot to say, and a lot of, like, a lot of comparison um, against my Giuseppe's, which are the red satin peep toes that I own. Those are my pride and blood and joy. Like, I seriously will die for those. But no, these um, Dolce Vita's, um, actually, I weren't really, I wasn't really going to get. But look at that box. It's so just like mysterious and, mi um, what's it called? Miss not mystical, whimsical is what I'm trying to say. But when I saw these um, in clearance when I went to Atlanta, I, I just knew I had to have them because I've been trying to get the the, C, um, the Sam Edelman peep toe pumps that have all the spikes on the heel, which is really in right now. Not only just studs, but spikes. Anything on a shoe with spikes is killer and amazing. But since I couldn't get my hands on that, I found the next best thing and I think I just love it even more. Like I think I just don't even want the Sam Edelmans anymore either because everyone has it. But I wore these to work on like a fashion a fashion day or fashion Saturday or something and I got like the most amazing stairs and compliments and I'm sure you'll know why are these um, DV Dolce Vitas and I do have Dolce Vitas but to be different they're not a more by Dolce Vita so um, I just love how that handwriting in there kind of reminds me of like Christelle Lim like that blogger who has all of her handwriting and Michelle Fan she always writes everything in that print. But from the front, as you can see, it's just a suede um, neutral pink material. But in the back, I'm just going to show you like slow motion so you just get knocked out of your socks. They have these like disco ball studs on the back. Like, sorry. I just had to like do a slow mo for effect for you guys. But oh my gosh. Like, and I didn't know this either, but it had um, studs on the, the actual belt loop, or not belt loop, the strap, the ankle strap too. So um, these are in a size 8 actually, and I didn't think that these would fit, but they fit me. And I, you know, I wear 7.5, so that was pretty crazy for an 8 to fit, but you know, whatever works, works. And here's the other one just to show you. I just want to show you the back so you can stare at it. But it's not like your typical spiky studs. 
it's just like more, um, I don't know, it's like flat circular stud, so it's not like sharp, doesn't have like spikes. So it's really different and you could like dress up any um, casual thing and make it really instantly glam and chic. Seriously guys, like this might be my second favorite shoe of all time and I didn't even know it. <laughs> but I just love like the extra hidden detail, like I don't like, I mean I do like showing skin but not too much. But I do love that element of surprise that, you know, kind of like Anya on Project Runway, she does, she loves the element of surprise too in her dresses and gowns. So here's the front again just to show you and then the back. So yeah, it's just um, crisscrossy sandals. Macy's and Dillard's, like the in, in their handbag section, I know that B. Mikowski is very famous for that. So yeah, if that says anything, but um, if you aren't sure with the label, I'm just going to show you his print right here. It says right here, the signature of luxury right there. And I do get a pair of boots, you know, for fall. Fall's coming up. Why not wear some boots? I actually already wore these once on a Saturday, fun day Saturday. Um, Fashion Saturday, I mean, and everyone that saw these boots were like, where did you get those? Where can I have some? And I was like, I got these at Norcross, and sorry, it was the only one, but these are size 8, and I didn't think I would fit in it either, because it's a size 8. I just can't believe my foot is so weird, but I'm sure you're, you're like that too, like you just flex up and down with a designer, but I wanted to show you first what the boots look like in the box. And yeah, they're right here. And yeah, beside each other, they're these tan. Um, has a really supportive chunky sole right there. Um, in the, what am I pointing at? <laughs> the chunky wooden heel, as I can say. And I just love the detail of the zipper. And um, I'm gonna show you, pick it up, just the straps along with the ankle strap too. And the purple that compares with the box isn't bad to look at either, but Here's the back of the boot. I thought that was really cool. I didn't notice that at first either. I just really loved it for the color because they don't really have a light brown. They have always been more so a darker brown girl or like a black. So um, that's why I love this. It almost feels like lambskin leather is so soft. And just to show you, it's a knee length boot. And as you can see, it has more of the, um, the Robin Hood kind of style. It's not really quite over the knee, but it's under the knee, but you can cuff it like that. And here it is right there, just to compare with you. It's a beautiful heel, I must say. Um, I love how different this looks right here. It's like kind of weird, but it's like the heel, the wooden heel is like kind of jutted out just to give it some nice architecture. But also the sole of the boot um, continues, not only just the ball area, but it also continues up upwards too, if you can, you know what I mean? So kind of continue so you know you don't you're super comfortable all around but again it's the inside zip up detail so it's not from the outside but I love these boots guys like seriously you can wear them cow um, with a, my cowboy hat cut off denim shorts or dress it up with long um, long dark skinny jeans so I am in love with these guys I don't know how much I paid for them I think these were like sixty dollars which is a steal for B. Mikowski and of course on sale brand new and um, when I got it the associate that checked me out was like oh my god you got it I was gonna get it but it doesn't fit me no matter how try how hard I tried I was like ha ha <laughs> no it seriously wasn't like that but um, I really was just excited to get something and um, but yeah I wore these all day um, on a shift and I love these, like, they seriously are amazing, and I just love the different um, buckle detail right there. So, yeah, I got these boots, and um, it's kind of hard for me to find boots now these days because I feel like everything looks the same, or the leather's not up to par with what I want. So when I find something really amazing, then I'd, I won't mind shelling out the money for it. So not that this is expensive, but just saying. But it's a real. She is mostly known for her um, her more formal wear. Um, brides love her. She's to death. Bridesmaids. She's more so formal. Okay, but she does have some casual type shoes. Um, but the the ones that I got are not casual. 
Um, these are wedges, and going back to my wedge craze, um, this is the last, seriously, the last wedges of the summer I'm going to buy. Like, if I swear to you, before, over my cat's dead body, I'm not buying any more wedges, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But I just had to have these. These also came in a black, like this was black silk front and then black um, glitter beads on the wedge area. But I just thought against like my skin tone that this would look even better. Just I love the ivory and the sequence of it is so fine and it doesn't look like tacky at all or just cheap. So that's why I got it and I don't own anything Nina either which is the deciding factor of course but this I actually got in a seven and a half so that was good and yes on sale please of course so love these and I sh I just can't wait to wear these I'm sure if I like have these for a long time I might even wear them like I don't want to jinx it I don't want to say for my wedding day or for reception because I'm not getting married anytime soon but I'm sure if I get married I will wear these <laughs> if these are still in good condition because they're just just amazing so I just love glitter just any time of the any time of the year so yeah I was gonna wear these actually if you're wondering my cuckoo head um, I'm gonna wear these with like gray it's like a gray um, pencil skirt to bring out the gray and the silver and then um, like a soft pink blouse like this like sleeveless and it has like floral print and then um, this blazer is kind of this shade too of this ivory off-white kind of shade yeah so um, I just want to take a picture and show you but yeah I'm gonna wear it with that type of outfit um so yeah lots of potential for these shoes too they're just amazing and just just can't stop staring at the glitter on the heel <laughs> I love this box it kind of reminds me of Tahari it's just a simple black box like I feel all good things come out of black like all little black dresses, all shoes that are in black boxes are amazing. Um, so this is no exception. Um, this is by Pelmoda. And I don't know what it stands for. And I should because I think it's an Italian brand. And of course, Moda means fashion in Italian. So I want to say Pella is street. So maybe it might meet street or urban fashion in Italian, but I'm not sure. So don't don't quote me on it. But um, that's the box. It's just matte black. And the shoes that I got actually were the Perry's. Um, I haven't been saying the style names of any of these shoes, so that's kind of bad. But yeah, so these are the Perry's, and they're called Desert Calf Gaucho. And these are in a size 8 actually, and I think these are actually the perfect size for me. And um, I'm glad that I got it. I found it in 8 and not another one. But oh my god, can you just not agree that these are just a must have for any sexy woman? <laughs> like I'm in love with this, like the nude and just the light brown and just the wooden detail and just everything about it is what I've been looking for in a neutral sandal and I'm sure my cousin Michelle will agree too she'll probably love this but I do love and appreciate this wood continuing off this the inner side right there and it has just like a baby platform if you can tell right here on the very bottom and I just love the braided detail looks very gladiator like and um, yeah it's just the perfect height for nights out hot summer nights out and you could even wear this in the fall, I'm sure. Not with tights, but with like skinny jeans or um, like trouser pants. You can definitely still wear these out too. So um, I, ha I don't want. I don't know if they're uncomfortable, which I don't want to say that it is because it probably is because it's wood. But these are just too sexy. Like, and just to quote the words out of the cashier that checked me out, she said, "These are sharp." <laughs> So she said they're sharp, and if she thinks that they're amazing, then they're amazing. So I love these once again. You can see side by side. Um, they just look like gladiator sandals, but elevated. So I'm really happy with my purchase, and I can't wait to. Actually, I should have brought them to Hawaii, but I didn't. I didn't buy them. So, but yeah, just to let you know, I want to go through and tell you the names of the shoes because um, I forgot. So in case you wanted to find them online or at DSW or another place than you can. So, real quick, um, the Ninas were called Mahala, and I'll just show you right there. Mahala Nude Luster. That's kind of cute because in 
Hawaiian mahalo means thank you. So yeah. And then these B. Mikowski boots are called Cassidy. Right there. Yeah, the B. Mikowski's are called Cassidy. They're the Cassidy boots. Um, and then these Dolce Vitas, which I'm sure we get a lot of questions about, are called the Kiza. So it sounds really Egyptian, but it's in the color blush suede right there. So I'll type all of these um, names and descriptions in the info box below too, so you can um, you can track it that way. Oh, and then just lastly, these Taharis are called Destine, T A Destine. So yeah, that about wraps it up. I'm kind of just out of breath and frankly tired from doing four videos in a row. So I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day off right now and see what I could get at Marshalls and Target. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And the weather is cleared up, so I think it's going to be good the rest of the day. Um, I really needed to go study, but I seriously needed to do this more because I'm just, I guess I'm a procrastinator and I just needed to. So, anyways, um, I, I will talk to all of you guys later and um, try to look more fashionable next time. Sorry, but this is like the only thing I can throw on without wasting time. But again, check out ShekimaliPat.com. I'm on Instagram too. It's not really that hard to find me. Um, and then my Facebook page, which I will also tell you below. My Facebook page. So go there and find me at all those lovely places. And um, have a good rest of your week.